welcome to Learning Mode. Today we are thinking about division and your child's division journey. Now as your child starts to move into the likes of year three, year four, so the P4, P5, P6 range, they'll be really thinking to start to use those multiplication facts and those inverse division facts to help them do some problem solving. And problem solving is really important because that is now how your child is actually being able to apply those skills that they've learnt. So you want to be using those multiplication tables to um, apply them to solve problems. So I've got a little problem here in front of me. And again, these can be done orally, they can be done in written methods, but you really, the most important thing about them is you really want to get your child talking about it, explaining their methods, explaining their thought process, because that gives you really good in, insight into how they're understanding and what methods that they prefer. So here I've got, there are 42 children going on a trip. Each car can hold six children. How many cars will the class need? So what you want to really be doing with your child here is really getting them to think about a multiplication and how that relates to the division. So again, talking about that inverse. So you want to be saying, first of all, is there a relationship between 42 and six? If there's 42 children all together and they need to fit into six cars, is there any facts that you might be able to know that might help you? And hopefully at this stage, your child might be saying that six times seven is 42. Immediately, if they're able to do that, that's exactly where you want them to be. If they're not there, please don't worry, but you want to be able to starting to show that relationship and encourage them to think about that relationship. Because here, the learning the division facts hand in hand with the multiplication facts is really, really key. So if they know that six times seven is 42, that's really gonna help them find the answer. They can do this probably mentally in their heads. They don't need to work it out on paper. If they do need to work it out on paper at this stage, that's absolutely not, is absolutely not a problem. But obviously as the numbers get bigger, we don't really want children drawing out 42 children and then having to share them because obviously that will take a long time and there's loads of room for error in there. So you want to be looking at problems like this and actually putting them into context where your child has been able to relate those multiplication facts to the division facts in order to solve very simple problems like this. Mm -hmm.